we will go into Brazil, and they have this very exclusive uh, resort there. They're popular because there are just a few rooms, you know, and, and, and it's hard to get a book in that hotel. Extreme expensive, but it's very exclusive. And she sold me that. No, you need to spend a few days in this hotel, this resort, you're going to love it, whatever. And I was so busy at the time. I said, okay, okay, just book it. So she booked it, and then she comes to me and says, hey, they send an email to you. you got to uh, answer uh, some questions. And I remember, open, that's back in 2015, I remember, open the email, tons of questions, like your taste for food, your taste for drinks, your taste for music, your size of your foot. And I just, I started to answer, it's like, what is that? And it was like 30 questions. And I just like, not time for this, keep working. A few days later, she's like, hey, they contact me, they, they, they didn't get your answers. And I said, okay, I'm going to do it, I'm just I'm going to do it tonight. Two more days, like, Rodrigo, they're, they're calling me. They're calling me. Like, they need the answers. And you know what? Sit down, spend 10 minutes, answer everything without thinking why they're questioning those kind of questions. I just answer, send, forgot about it. Went to Brazil, and of course, got to the airport. The, they're there with their car, you know, the driver, drove us to the resort. And I was just prepare myself to enjoy myself for a few days, relax, right, disconnect. And we arrived at the hotel, and this lady sat us on the lobby. And I remember it was really nice, I made comments about the furniture with my wife and that. And she said, you wait a minute, our manager gonna come to show you the, the hotel, the resort. And we were waiting, and this lady comes with two drinks. One was purple, one was yellow. So she gave the purple to my wife, give the yellow to me. You know, and it's okay, welcome, drinks, whatever, though. So, cheers, and we drunk. And as soon as that touched my lips, I just like, whoa, what a great drink. And I taste my wife, it was different, it was definitely two different drinks. And the manager came, and the first question said, What's the name of this drink? Because I want to order another one. She said, Has no name. Uh, we build that drink based on your taste. Right away, I closed my eyes and said, the questions. Damn, they built a drink, didn't have even a name. Well, I couldn't name after me because well, I was based on my, on my taste. Right there, I knew they screwed my vacation. Right there, I said, my vacation screw. Because my mind started spinning, and I just started looking around and pay attention to every single detail. That was the days I spent there, Actually, I work more than ever because I was memorized, making notes of everything they're doing. So they got us, showed us the resort. When you get in our room, the rope was on my size, my wife's size, because my, my wife is half of my size, so they definitely you can see that was customized. The flip floppers, my size, my wife's size. The music, they put a playlist on the room, and the music... And also my taste for music is very different than my wife. And it was one jazz and blues and, and the other music was a country music from Brazil. And I, I couldn't believe how they paid attention so much for the information we gave to, we gave to them. And they built a experience around that to us. The next few days we spent there, the all attention of the staff of the hotel was towards us. And that's when I realized that's one of the reasons they didn't have many rooms because they are very focused on the experience of the client. And I, during those days I spent at that hotel, I was every time analyzing what I could take it and bring it to my business, to my martial arts business. 